going to talk about some edge rusher action right here. Um, but no rough in the past. Karloth is a clean guy. He's never going to do that. He'll, ne- he'll never do that. Um, <laughs> at least we hope so. Um, so uh, uh, last year, as we said, uh, drafting Karloth was huge for us. But we said, and JD said that it's going to take him some time. And I don't think he was getting he was getting a lot of pressures. He wasn't really finishing off um, the, uh, the plays uh, as far as getting sacks. Um, in the beginning of the season, but the end of the season, and it's so strong, just like all the other rookies on the team. Last seven games, he averaged, he had five and a half sacks over the last seven games. So he ended the season smoothly, just like JD said, and it will all come together by the end of the season. Um, and this year, he's already taken strides in the offseason by working with one of Kansas City's best and a friend of the show, Tom Ali. There's videos of them two working uh, with each other. It went viral in uh, Chiefs Kingdom this past week on Twitter. JD, what does it say to you that George Karloftis is making the extra effort and going to seek out guys like Tom Bali, who lives in the Kansas City area, and actually working with him on a variety of stuff that Tom can teach? Because Tom was an assassin on the edge. Man, that's my boy right there. Tom, look, uh, bravo to, uh, to, to George. And if it was him reaching out or Tom reaching out, this, this, without a doubt, should have happened. This is something that that you had to seek this type of guidance out. So I'm so glad this occurred. Man, it looks so good. So if he's going to learn anything about pass rush, the guy to teach him is Tombo. We're talking about, man, it's just a machine and working out, you know, detailed as far as like getting past guys using their, their hands and their arms and leverage, all of that. And Tama was working it. He was just working it in practice, man. You know, just a young guy coming in, man. I really love how Tama would work. And so just telling him and just talking to my brother, man. I'm yeah, that's that's man. Love Tama. Uh, but yeah, he knows he's like, man, I can help this guy get better, right? You help this guy get better. Like veteran players, former players, want to help guys get better. We want to see, man, we want to see guys succeed. We want to see guys succeed. And so George is a guy that's thirsty for knowledge. You can tell he wants to succeed. So his production toward the end of the season, you could tell he was getting better. He was starting to make an adjustment to the game and the speed of the game, getting his hands and all of that. And it takes time. It does. It takes time, especially, you know, on this level, elite level. You you don't just come in and just be great. You got to work at it. That's bottom line. You got, you got to work at it. So why not work with the best? So that makes sense. Like when, you know, uh, you know Frank Clark and Carlos Dunlap was helping George out. This is what veteran players do. I didn't, I don't know what, even why this is like. A, seriously, like this is a debate, right? Like I understand people bring up you know certain things with George Brad and you know they was talking about Aaron Rodgers. These things, guys don't like guys like that. Let me put it that way in the NFL, they don't. You know, if you're going to be a guy that's going to hold your, your 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 information and knowledge, you know, from a younger guy, then you just you you, you just you an idiot. You know, guys sit there like, okay, I'm gonna remember that. And guys will remember dudes that do things like that. They will remember guys like that. Okay, most of the time, guys will say, "Man, I will never treat a young guy that way." All right, never treat a young guy that way. Majority guy, most guys don't mind helping out young guys. They don't. Even if they don't like it, they will still help them. They will still give them knowledge. They will still tell them, hey, man, this is, you know, what you had to do. It's the same thing when I heard uh, Tannehill, okay, saying the same thing with Malik, you know, Willis down in Tennessee. I'm like, man, this, (laughs) okay, I can tell what type of dude you are. Well, we know what type of dude, you know, Brad and Aaron Rodgers are. We can tell that, right? And so, cool. Nobody's saying you had to babysit a dude. But not just to help a guy out because you help the team out. Ultimately, I get you want to be the man. Maybe it's just position wise. Okay, you know you feel like well, guys got to make their own way. It does happen, right? I'm not saying it doesn't happen. It, absolutely, it does happen. Okay, but most majority of guys are going to have guys that's going to help them out, whether it be somebody in a different position, maybe a wide receiver helping a tight end. I remember Andre Rodgers sitting there talking about that. Hey, look, I was helping TG out when he first got to Kansas City, right? Shoot, Tony will tell you, like, I'm sure Dre helped him out with some things, giving me some words of wisdom, you know, because it is, it's a team thing, it's a team structure. So same thing we talk about, D-Hop, D-Hop would be a guy that would come in and help a young guy out, okay? Just, I don't keep revisiting it, but that's the truth. 
Okay? He was doing that when he was in Houston, helping guys out. That's who he is. That's his M.O. So if you just, uh, uh, how would I say it? I want to use a stronger word than idiot, but since this is kind of a, you know, you try to keep it tapered down a little bit. Um, you know, it's just a it, it, it dude, man. He's just, you know, he's, he's self centered. You could say off centered, selfish, uh, you know, lofty in who he believes he is, you know, not wanting to help young guys out. Uh, uh, but more so, man, he's, he's, you know, he's, he's, Guys just really won't respect a dude like that, okay? Just won't. For the long haul, like I said, guys remember, they're like, yeah, all right, I remember how the dude treated me. I remember that. And so uh, some guys might adopt that same attitude, but like I said, majority of guys will help guys out. Uh, but, yeah, man, it, it, with Tomba and watching George do this type of work, it's showing me that George wants it. He wants to become better. He wants to be successful. And when you're doing that as a young guy, the sooner you can get that type of, of, of knowledge, the toolage, the mentor to help you excel to the next level, man, do it. Do it as, as, as fast, as quick as possible. Seek that out. Seek it out. Go find you a master. That's what you want to do. You doing karate? Go find you the master, right? They talk about the shoe. I remember, you know, I'm a big kung fu friend, uh, fan, karate guy, right? I love it. I love seeing it. Everybody would go to, uh, you know, Shaolin, okay? Try to get that knowledge, you know, the Wu Tang and all. That's where you want to go. You want to learn about kung fu or karate? That's that's where you go. Mm -hmm. Tombo, hats off to him, man, my brother. Uh, just uh, stand-up guy all the way around. This is not shocking to me uh, by no means. But, hey, man, George is on his way. He keeps doing this, keeps getting this. He's going he's gonna to be in a great position. Well, it's also like because we talked, we had this story uh, during training camp where there's the videos after practice, the photos after practice where he's working with Dunlap. He was working with Frank Clark. He's learning from these guys who were taught by the, their vets when they, they played, right? And yeah. then and then you have Tomba, who played under Tim Crumry, and then also he had Jared Allen, who was teaching him stuff. So he's getting, it's kind of like a master class in a way where he's getting a little bit of from this professor, that Sorry. professor, that professor, and he's telling him all the tricks of the trade that he learned from those guys. And Tomba also played with Justin Houston, so maybe the stuff, the stuff that he learned from Justin Houston, he's given to the the Carl Optus as well. I mean, it's it, it, it's so great to have a guy like Tomba who's still who's still in Kansas City who can be able to to do this kind of stuff with with, uh, with Carl Optus and give him all the information that he had because I mean Tomba was was at a high level up until the very end. Um, and I know he ended his career in Kansas City, but he, he was at a high level. I mean, he wasn't maybe he wasn't getting sacks towards the end, but he was he was still creating havoc back there. I tell you that. Tell yeah. you, Still effective, no doubt about it. So yeah. that, is, but but that's what ends up happening. Guys become sponges, right? You become mirrors. Uh, you know, you, you you try to emulate, you know, the great ones. And so, as a young guy, uh, if you're not trying to do that, you're not trying to get better. You're just trying to do it on your own. There's nothing wrong with that. But also, too, there's there's resources out here that you can go to to get better, right? And so sometimes, even even like let's say an older guys working out of practice, a bet, uh. You might the coach might tell you, like, hey, man, go get some work with him. Shoot, watch what he does. You know, you could just look what he's doing. You can mirror all the things he's doing great. And even if you he's not teaching you, you're watching his movements. You can learn that. Okay. Matter of fact, the same thing with film. You can learn what he's doing wrong. If a guy's messing up, you can learn what not to do. So uh this all these things, man, this, this is how like the when you when you pass on knowledge. You know, to the next guy, because uh, it's all about the NFL, and you know, you you've had your time. Tom has had his time. I've had my time. I don't mind imparting knowledge into younger guys. I don't mind helping guys like that out. You know, if I can help you out, I'm like, look, dude, hey, you just take your step, get your hand right here, a little bit faster, see how that feels to you, right? And you can tell them like how you know the body movement, balance, all those different things. Uh, how you can just take advantage. So, like you said, every single one of those guys you just named. Okay, so George is getting, like I said, Tim Crumbry. He's getting uh, Jared Allen. 
uh, Tom Ali, Justin Houston. He's getting he's getting all that knowledge. Okay, all soaked in and just you know pushed out to him. You know what I mean? Little things he can get. So, man, I was just I I love seeing it. I absolutely love seeing it. So, uh, it's great, man. It's great. It's great stuff. I, I, great seeing things like that, man. I, I love, like I said, man, my boy. Time a man doing his thing, man, helping a young player like that out. Uh, hope to see a lot more younger guys going out there and trying to learn those things too. Okay. Whatever position you're in, I don't care what it is. So if you're not going out there to seek out the best guys that's doing it, man, that's on you. That is on you. Really. Yeah, it also speaks to kind of kind of going back to what you talked about with the whole Brett Farber and Rogers, like and how Aaron Rodgers treats the young guys now. Um, it's like if you if you look at it. And who knows? May, may, it, it's just one of those things where whoever Tannehill's uh, vet was when he when he came in the league, maybe that vet was the same kind of thing to him. He's like, okay, and that's one thing you can always change that. You can always change the future, but like maybe that's the way you brought in, so you feel jaded, so you want to do that with the next guy. Because Favre and Rogers, probably they didn't even talk with each other. That was that was always the reports. They had like, no relationship with each other at all. And what happens? Rogers becomes the same kind of guy as because that's what he that's what he learned right he, he right. learned through that you know uh the whole nurture versus nature thing he learned that and then what happened he kind of became that kind of guy and just kind of a weird weirdly oddly guy with his with his with his with his teammates yeah. but obviously tomba didn't didn't learn that way because jared Allen was his guy who brought who kind of uh, took him under his wing when he first got in the league and and look at that he's bestowing he's bestowing uh, uh all the wisdom with uh with, with the younger guys yeah man listen I, hey it, 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 everybody's trying to get paid and so it's the same thing we were talking about. If you're you're visiting with a group of guys, and that's why I love like the whole tight end university thing, right? Because it's like, look, we're we're sharing knowledge, we're sharing how guys get open. Because ultimately, it's about our position getting better. Okay, it puts us in a, a, a better light, puts in a better a lot a better position for negotiations uh, when it comes down to the table of having somebody uh, this good. Uh, why wouldn't you want to try to improve that? So, yeah, man, I just it, 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 these things can be done to guys. They can absolutely learn it. And like you said, hey, they pass it on. And maybe that's what something happened to these guys. I, I don't disagree with that, probably. Okay. Bad behavior, big guess, bad behavior, right? Yeah. And so if you have something that is good, it's the same thing. If you're having something that you're you're be able to uh benefit somebody. Hopefully that person passes on to the very next one, right? The next generation of guys coming through at that position. Okay. Uh, like I said, everybody wants to get paid. Everybody wants to eat. But sometimes competition is competition. Ain't nothing wrong with competition, but still it's like, hey man, like, all right, I might not be here. It might be you. If I go somewhere else, I'm still going to compete. That's what it's all, you know, when it comes down to it. If you just trying to look at guys sink. You know what I mean? You ain't trying to throw him a, a, a life life jacket, you know, life preserver, any of those things. Then uh, you are uh, a, a dookie shoe. Yeah. Well, they're going by the whole um, if the air, if the airplane's coming down, you know, say put your mask on first before you help somebody else out. That, that that's the logic that they're just playing for the <laughs> for, for everything. So he's like, hey, I ain't shoot. He, <laughs> he on his own. Maybe yeah. 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 <laughs> right. Right. Yeah. Um. But I, I will say, um, you know, Carl Lodges could be in a position. Ray Clark's gone. Dunlap's gone. He could be in a position where he is the elder statesman. Well, we'll have Mike Dana still, but like. He could be the, the next year doing what Dunlap and Frank Clark did. After only one year, he could be doing that with the, with a rookie. If we, if we bring in a, a guy in the first or second round, you know, yeah. like I mean, he could he could. I mean, he you know he's got, he's got one year under his belt. He could be that guy for someone, you know. Dude, matter of fact, I'd, I'd be like, if I didn't see him helping a young guy, I'm like, hey man, didn't him do his help you out last year? Yeah. When you want to help a guy like this out, like they helped you, right? Why don't you do the same thing for these guys, like they, the guys did for you? You know what I'm saying? Shoot, don't just keep all the knowledge to yourself. You get it all and bottle it up. But I don't see him doing something like that. I think he would be that type of guy. He would be a guy that would help guys out. Yeah. But that's what all of that is for. That's what all of that is for. What's the point of keeping all this knowledge to yourself, right? What's the point? Okay, you're going to keep it. You can't use it no more. Ain't nobody else going back to the NFL. I ain't going back to the NFL. So if I'm going to teach somebody how to block, 
you know, tight end position block, a, you know, a, a, shoot, five, seven, nine, uh, pass block, uh, how to get around guys, run routes. I'm going to give that knowledge, everything to you that I know. Okay? That's what I'm going to do. So that's how we should be doing. That's how we should be doing just in the whole human experience that we should be doing, right? Yeah. Part of why we striving, the way we striving. Okay? Sometimes it's bad behavior is showing up too. That's why things are in, in, in the state that they're in. So this is true. I, I don't want to get philosophical. <laughs> Keep show. So we'll, we'll we'll stay there with it. But yes, sir. Yes, sir. True. Yeah, you're you're 100 percent right. You're 100 percent right. Um, yeah. Um, I'll say Karloff is yeah, uh, if he learns anything from Tom, but I mean that's just he's he, he I think he's had a good I think he's had a double digit sack here. I, it, Maybe based on the uh, maybe it was hyped up after seeing him work out with Tamba, but I think we're going to see a double digit sack here from him next year. Yeah, it's close. Yeah, he definitely have that ability after he, working with Tamba, no doubt about it. He, he, he trended in that direction anyway. He's improved just having that that interaction and that visit with him and working out with him. He's improved just that much. Seriously, he's a much better, much better defensive end pass rusher than he was, you know, when he ended the the, the season working yeah. with Tamba. No doubt. And I do think we should add, uh, maybe bring Dunlap back, maybe bring in Justin Hughes. And I, I do think we, there is some room for some veteran type guys. And I know last year we talked about the, the veteran edge. And based on the market last year, we'll be seeing a lot of veteran edges going into training camp again, uh, unsigned by the time training camp rolls around. So there'll be yeah. some guys out there for sure. I like Carlos. I like Dunlap. Yeah. He was solid last year. I, what, would he only have a half a sack less than uh, Frank Clark uh, dur during the year? And he was getting paid like. <laughs> Significant amount less. <laughs> oh, yeah. 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 Is. yeah. Hi, everybody. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest from the show. Also, be sure to check out the best clips from Chief Concerns. And if you prefer to listen to the show, subscribe and follow us on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and anywhere else you get your podcasts.